uh, well, what really got me interested in pharmacogenomics was frustration <laughs> as, a, as a doctor looking at uh, some people who respond to some therapies and, and don't. And, and it normally gets just completely blown off by physicians. You know, some people respond to uh, a drug for hypertension and some people don't. And the normal reaction of most physicians is, that's idiopathic, you know, that's going to happen. There are some people who don't respond. Or the same might be true for anti-cancer drugs, has much bigger implications. Uh, and the same might be true for simple things like uh, migraine headaches or antihistamines. Some drugs don't work for some people. And of course, the other frustrating thing is that some drugs are incredibly uh, intense in terms of side effects for, for other people. Uh, and we know this, and we know that not all people look the same. You don't look the same as me, and uh, I don't look the same as the next person, but uh, we respond very differently to, to medications. And the assumption uh, that everybody's going to respond to the same dose of the same drug in the same beneficial way without side effects just, to me, flies in the face of just simple logic. And that's what got me interested in... Uh, in a genetic cause for differences between people. Genetics has been looked at for lots of things, but it hasn't actually been spent a lot of time on in terms of differences in drug therapy.